Hey, you know, Tick, I'm going to be showing you how to host videos directly on your WordPress site. I'm going to show you the right way of of doing it. And um, and you can, instead of using like YouTube videos or free video hosting, you can now literally host all your videos yourself and stream them on your own website. Now, before I actually show you this tool, let me just tell you a couple of problems that people are doing wrong when they're trying to host videos or self-hosted videos. Why would you host your own videos? Well, maybe you've been using YouTube and you don't want to have the YouTube logo. You don't want the link at the top with the title of the video. Maybe you don't want share buttons or maybe when the video gets paused, you don't want those related videos coming up, which can be super annoying on your website. Or maybe you're doing video content and you want higher perceived value of your content. So instead of using a free YouTube video, you actually want to be hosting your own videos. Well, I'm going to show you the most awesome economical solution, affordable solution, which means pretty much free of hosting your own videos and doing it so that you put zero load on your own WordPress site. So let's have a quick look here inside of my WordPress. I'm going to open up the media here in a new tab. And you've probably already tried this. Trying to host video files in your media is going to cause several problems. First of all, uh, you might have a size limit, so you're not able to use videos in your media library. The media library is designed for images or smaller files. Then that can be an issue. Also, with some hosting, web hosting packages, they don't like you streaming uh, your own videos or hosting your own videos on your site. Now, streaming and hosting, there's a difference, and I'm kind of going to cover that difference. But hosting videos on your own website, web hosting site often is not a good option, especially if you're on a shared web hosting plan. Now, Dropbox has a number of advantages for actually hosting your videos. Basically, if you have a Dropbox account and you're already using Dropbox, then it offers you some awesome tools for hosting videos. But there's a number of problems when it comes to actually adding the videos to your website from Dropbox. First of all, here you can see I've got a video on my Dropbox and I can go ahead and use the share option and I can copy the link here and it's going to give me a link. I could take that link to my website and I could put a video tag here, source equals this link and instead of DLO equals DL0, we put DL download equals one. Let's close that video tag and add some controls. Now this is something you could do to embed the video on your site, but it's not going to work on all browsers. For instance, let's just try this out. I'm going to view it in Chrome here, and you can see the video is loading. And let me just try and play this. So this is actually working. It's loading from my Dropbox account. But if I take this web page link to Safari, for instance, Let's just open up Safari, and there's a lot of Safari users out there. All Macs come with Safari. You can see that video is not going to work. Now, it doesn't stop there. Also, if they're on an iOS device on their mobile devices, they're not going to be able to view the video, which causes a lot of problems. So while this looked like a good option at first, it's not actually viable, and it's not going to work. So how do we host our videos from Dropbox and why, why would we use Dropbox? So here on the Dropbox website, we have bandwidth limit information. So with a basic account, you can get a Dropbox account like a free account uh, or a basic account. You're getting 20 gigabytes a day, 20 gigabytes a day over 30 days 
we're looking at around 600 gigabytes per month that's available for you to use is actually more than enough for most people when it comes to hosting your videos. And if you've already got a Dropbox account, you've got all this extra unused bandwidth that you could be utilizing now with your videos. Now, if we were to compare that with Vistia, for instance, which is like a premium video hosting service, here on the Vistia website, we can see we can get 200 gigabytes of bandwidth, but this is per month. So if I jump back to our Dropbox here, we're getting 20 gigabytes, but this is per day. Vistia, which is a video hosting platform, included in their paid packages, you get 200 gigabytes per month. And with Dropbox Basic, you're getting 600 gigabytes just there available for you to start using right away. Now, if you've got a Dropbox business account, then the number is even more. You're actually getting 200 gigabytes per day, which works out to six terabytes per month. So this is some awesome bandwidth and also the videos load extremely fast. And that's why I decided to create the video WP video streamer, which lets you stream all your Dropbox videos directly on your WordPress site. Now the difference with streaming or hosting your videos is that video does not affect your hosting bandwidth or it doesn't affect the bandwidth on your website. It goes straight from the visitor's browser and it streams directly from the Dropbox. Now, now the way it does that is you can basically come in here into media and we've got WP Video Streamer and instead of giving you a video player or a limited option, it gives you a stream for each of your videos that you've got hosted on Dropbox. So to add a video, all you need to do is you just drag it in. So here you can see I've got a video, I'm just going to drag it in and you can drag in multiple videos uh, at the same time. And you can see, and you can see we've got a list of video files here ready to go. And to stream this video on my website, I can go ahead and just get my link and it's going to build me a stream link that I can use in any video player. Now this is an MP4 stream link, so you do have the option of adding the .mp4 at the end as well. I'm going to go ahead and copy that link and we'll go back to the, our, our video here that we created earlier from Dropbox that worked in Chrome, but it didn't work in a number of other browsers. And I'm going to replace that with my stream link. I'm going to choose Update and let's first check it in Chrome here. So I'm going to refresh the page and now you can see I've got my own video stream link and that is playing directly from Dropbox. And we'll try that link out in Safari. And now you can see the video is loading and I can play the video in Safari. Now I'm on my computer here, so I'm showing you this in Safari because that was an issue with using a direct link from Dropbox. Now it also is supported now using the Dropbox video streamer link. The stream will be supported by all mobile devices as well. The other cool thing about this stream is I can come here and I can organize all my videos directly from my own website. So for instance, if I've got a members area on my website, I can create a folder here. Let's call this members videos and we can just go ahead and create that and stay super organized. Jumping in here, it's going to keep everything in order and I can just drag in all my videos and they're going to give me that video stream link, then I can use that video stream link either in a video player or even in direct HTML code. Now, if you have, maybe you have more than one video players, I've got here Instant VSL, which is one of my favorite uh, video players. And here we've got a video player 
This is actually a YouTube video loading at the moment and you can see it's got some extra things. I'd rather not be in the video. I'm going to paste in my stream link here. And with our stream link we have the option of adding the extension there so that can let the video players know hey this is an mp4 file let's go to my instant vsl site builder and here i've got a custom video player i'm going to go ahead and paste in my video stream here and you can see now the stream is working in my custom video player so if you're using different video players now you can have your own streams your video streams for all your videos and you never have to worry about paying for your video hosting wp video stream it's a massive time saver it puts all the video links at your fingertips and if you've got multiple different websites then you can actually share all your video files across all your different websites by using the WP Video Streamer so you don't have to duplicate the video, you don't have to host it in multiple places, you can play that same video on different uh, websites. Now it's a massive time saver and it also saves you a ton of money instead of using expensive hosting and you can use your Dropbox which you already have and you can host your videos there. If you don't have a Dropbox account you can sign up for a free account and start using WP Video Streamer uh, straight away. If you don't have a Dropbox account then you can go ahead and get a free account and you can start using WP Video Streamer with your Dropbox free account. So there's absolutely no reason for you to not be using WP Video Streamer. It integrates with any video player you've got out there and it really puts you up there with the pros when it comes to doing video and actually start hosting your own videos without all the complications or limitations that a lot of the other alternatives uh, come with. So right now on this page, this is a brand new tool for 2020 WP Video Streamer. It's a WordPress plugin that installs on your WordPress site and it lets you start to stream lightning fast video on your WordPress site and you can use it with any video player that you currently have or you can even embed it as a HTML tag on your website. It's going to work on all different browsers including mobiles and tablets. So what I'm going to do since this is a brand new tool, I'm going to do my killer no-brainer early bird deal where you can literally get this tool for pennies on the dollar for a limited time. I'm looking at about a week to two weeks to do it. So if you want to get started with streaming your own videos, then today is your day and you can pick it up on this page below this video. Now what you see on this page right now is not going to be available for very long. So make sure you go ahead and pick this up right away. On the other side I've got a quick start guide video which walks you through the process. Installing it is super easy. It's just like setting up any other WordPress and you can get started. You just drag your videos up and I've got a video that walks you through the whole process. Now if you do get stuck along the way then we'll actually help you get this set up at no extra cost. We'll even do the installation for you if that's what you need. Now finally if we go ahead and we help you get this set up and you still don't like it for any other reason then you've also still got that 30 days risk free to try this out and see if this is something you want to be using. So right now I've got that limited time early bird no brainer pennies on the dollar offer below this video so just scroll down below this video pick your package, you'll get immediate access to the WP Video Streamer and I've got a quick start guide to get you all set up, up and running and I will see you on the other side of this page in just a moment.